Hey y'all, so major spoiler alerts are coming in this video. If you're going to be ordering the box of shadows for yourself, or if you don't want to know what is in it, then please turn this video off. Don't watch it because I'm going to be showing you every single thing, unwrapping everything, opening everything that comes in this box and flipping through the little booklet that comes with it. So if you don't want to see that until you get yours in the mail, please go ahead and turn the video off now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, friends. So like I said previously, this is going to be an unboxing of Maniology's box of shadows. So I'm going to show you everything that's in this box. So if you don't want to see it, if you don't want the spoilers, please, this is your last warning to not watch. But anyway, how pretty is this box? It is black and purple and has cats. My biggest loves in life, the color purple and cats. But anyway, isn't the print on that box just beautiful and if you don't already follow maniology you can check them out here that's their website if you are using social media of any sort please use this hashtag maniology halloween if you would like to order any of their products please look in the description box and i will pin a comment using my affiliate link it costs nothing extra to you but i do make a commission off of you purchasing these things and it really helps to support the channel so anyway let us open up and look at the inside of the box happy haunting let's turn it sideways here so this is the maniology book of shadows countdown book nail art ideas and if you don't follow them please go follow them you can get tons of inspiration from following their account because let me tell you when it comes to nail art these girls are talented i'll tell you that so we have some stickers here how cool are these oh look at the pumpkin with the cats goodbye <laughs> i just need to stick that to my forehead when i go shopping goodbye let's lay that over here and you have this beautiful halloween paper and let's take a look at the countdown book. Let's open this up. Rumors say to stay away from 13 Cedar Drive and all who dare to take a peek won't make it out alive. Shrieking, creaking, midnight weeping. Could the stories all be true? What mysteries lie within these walls? The doors unlocked for you. And then we have the 13 days of Halloween. Okay, how cool is that? Now, in the back of the book here, they do show you step-by-step step how to use some of these products, how to get these really cool reverse stamping effects. Look at that. How cool is that? If you've seen me do any of my nail art tutorials, then you know how to do some of these already. But anyway, let's lay that off to the side and let's open up this wonderfully packaged package here. And it is all numbered it is all numbered so of course i'm going to be going through and we're going to open it all together so number one says first a library of voices passed and whispers heard without a sound on dusty shelves their lives amassed release their souls from pages bound so look at this look at these stickers these little potion bottle stickers now let me tell you when it comes to maniology and their packaging they go all out okay it's like opening up a gift every time you open up their stuff. It's just so awesome. So we're opening up number one. Look at this. Look. Look at this. And it says Maniology. It's black and purple. I cannot tell you how much my little purple loving heart is in love with this right now. And this will be a book where you store your stamping plates. Oh, I love this. Let's take out the foam. Look, look, this is just so cool. And it snaps closed. Oh, I'm just in love with this. This is so awesome. So for number two, it says a living room, not for the living, though nicely furnished nonetheless. No bowls of trick or treats for giving, just party games for ghostly guests. So number two, look at this. Look at this imagery here. That is beautiful. And of course, here's the stamping plate number with the sticker number two. Oh, I just want to hug these people for using black and purple. <laughs> so let me try to get this out here. 
as always, I have lotion on my hands. So it's very difficult. Now, a lot of people that stamp their nails, they're like, I can't get the polish to come out on the plate. You have to take the blue coating off. And I know a lot of people don't do that. And I'm trying to not shine the light in your face here. But can you see some of these designs? This is good, bye. Oh my goodness, pumpkin spice and witchy vibes. Oh my goodness. And they have, these plates are deeply engraved too. Now some plates that you get are very shallow and it's very difficult to pick up any of the designs. But these are deep. Look at that death hood mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do my nails now. I've got to do a video of me doing my nails relatively soon. But isn't that beautiful? So that was number two. Let's put that away. Okay, moving on to day number three. In the attic with creaking floors, antique cabinets, and chests of drawers, candles, potions, tortured dolls, stuck with pins, and symbols scrawled. That is number three right here. Everything is laid out so that you can pick it up working your way down. Very easy to get to. So this is Stamping Art Polish. Let's see if it has a color on it. I don't see one right here. Am I overlooking it? It'll be a surprise. Oh, it'll be a surprise. So let's open this up and see what we get. This color is called Occult. Oh, that is beautiful. And my nails are looking raggedy right now, so I need to put on a new set. And um, I can't wait to use this. This is the color Occult. And if you're like me and you love all things spooky, you know that it can be very difficult to find good spooky stuff for your nails. Look at that. But Maniology has done such an awesome job of having some of these spookiest <laughs> supplies out there. So I'm, I'm so happy with this. Um, day number four. Behind a door with rusted locks, a woman weeps with desperate knocks. Through the keyhole, take a peek. An empty room is all you'll see. Ooh, I just hit my chimes up here. So this is sealed in plastic. Let's get this open without ripping my nails off. I just love all these little potion stickers. So a monocle stamper. You can never have too many stampers, okay? You can never have too many stampers. All right, let me get this open. Okay, and here is your scraper card. Let's see, can you see the designs on that? Oh, all of these bones. Oh, how cool is that? So this is your scraper card, of course, when you put the polish on your plate and you scrape it, okay? So this is a monocle stamper. This is a really good type of stamper to have. Actually, I don't think I've ever gotten a hold of a style or design of stamper that I didn't like, but I really do like these, the monocle style, because they are very large and very easy to see your design through as you're putting it on your nail. Very large, like the monocle you know, that goes on your eye. That's why it's named that. And look, let's look at the lid. Whoops. Let's look at the lid. Oh, how cool is that? I just knocked the back of it off. <laughs> that just pops down in there, of course. And then here is your nice, big, huge stamper. Like I said, I've got glue and paint and everything else under my nails right now. Hey, I craft for a living. Uh-oh. Let's put that back in there. How awesome. All right, moving on to number five. The hallway closet holds nothing strange, just leather coats neatly arranged. Pull back the fleshy cloaks to find the fractured remnants left behind. Kudos to their writer, man. <laughs> Another stamping plate, number five here. And as always, there is the um, there's a code. So let's try to open this. Okay, I'm going to show it to you with the blue on, and then I'll take it off. I'm going to use my nail here just to kind of scrape it up. And when you're trying to take these off, I have mentioned before, please try not to use anything metal because then you risk damaging your plate. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Ooh, bonesies. Oh, look at this skeleton here with the flowers. How cool. And y'all know that I do spooky nails year round. It can be Christmas and I'm sitting here putting skulls and stuff on my nails. I like that. The bat. The skulls. So cool. So, so cool. 
and then you can put them all in your little book, which we'll do here in a minute. Number six, drip, drop, drip, drip. The washroom tap begins to flood. Undress yourself and take a dip in a bathtub filled with blood. Okay. Oh, please tell me this is going to be some sort of like just be dazzling red. Please tell me that. Let's open this up. Ooh, blood bender. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that color. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's put that back in here. I have a whole case in here just where I keep my maniology stuff separate from everything else. Uh, number seven, have you met the residents? My, how could we forget? Let's make our introductions to the family and their pets. The family and their pets. All right, so let's see, what could this be? The number, the family and their pets. Okay, so now let's try to take this off. I know you're like saying, hurry, Amber, we want to see. Well, I want to see it too. Give me a daggum minute. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Look at all the ghosties. All of the ghosties. Now, when you have things like all of these little elements here, you can put them all together. You can do the grass and then do the trees and then like put a swing between them. Um, they put the ghosties on it. So many different things that you can do with these. Just so, so many. It really is, like, can be totally customized. Ghouls just want to have fun. It really can just be, like I said, totally customized to whatever look you want. So number eight, a doll encased on a wall. Such a lovely sight, but little do you know of its ghostly fright. Watch carefully as it changes into a faceless feature, peeling away to form a ghastly creature. Are they talking about like my ex-mother-in-law or something? Like, oh, look at her, and then like, eh, ghastly. <laughs> Come on, here it is. Now, I have seen these before, but I've never used them before, and I've wanted to. So, um, um, cause you know, with to protect your cuticles, I usually use like that paint on latex. If I'm not painting my nails on the stands, I use like the paint on latex, but some people are allergic to latex. So this is cuticle tape that you put around your nail. See here, you just put it around your nail to protect your skin when you're stamping and it makes cleanup a heck of a lot easier. So in here, several sheets of these. Oh, they got the ghosties. How cool is that? There's another sheet in there. So how cool, like if you stamp gradient polish as well, it's really good for that. Cool. All right, moving right along. Number nine, hidden deep within the cellar, a makeshift surgical device, a row of rusted metal tools made to mutilate and slice. Y'all been looking in my house? Have you? Huh? Huh? What number are we on? Nine? Okay, number nine right here. Ooh, a tool to mutilate and slice. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. All right, how cool is that? Let me figure out how to get it open. Oh, how cool. How cool. Oh, a multi-purpose tool here. How awesome is that? And my cat's trying to get in. Hold on. So anyway, boink, boink tweezers boink boink here your cuticle pusher y'all may have already seen one of these before and know what they are Ew. cuticle pusher or if you have like gel nails and you're soaking them off this is really good to scrape off your gel nails and then also this tool and i use tools like this like for cleanup just to go around the edges just to clean up and to get under but anyway this is a very handy thing to have a very very handy thing to have so i appreciate them putting that in there very, very useful. So number 10, spiders crawling everywhere, climbing up your arms and legs, cobwebs tangled in your hair, and sacks of hatching widow eggs. Ew. So we have another stamping plate. I love plates. Oh my goodness, I have such a collection of stamping plates. And a lot of them are maniology because they are, uh, they're my favorite. 
Anyway, let's see. Oh, look at all the spiders. Oh my goodness. Now I did have a plate that I'd gotten off of Amazon a long time ago. Um, and I had a spider web on it and it was one of my absolute favorite designs, but it was so hard to pick up because it wasn't etched very deeply. Oh, look at that. Look at that moth right there. Spiders and spider webs. Oh, that one's cool. That one's cool. Oh, I'm going to get such use out of this one. This is just awesome. I can't wait to sit down and do some nails now. Like I said, I'll have some nail videos up for y'all soon. Life has gotten in the way and I just haven't gotten to make as many. Number 11, something rustles in the shadows, eyes reflecting with a flash. It growls and lunges closer now. It's time to make a dash. Number 11. Number there. Number 11. A cat is over here being nosy. Some beautiful, beautiful glitter. I'm not going to open this, okay? Not, not just yet. Because I know me, I'll make a mess. But anyway, beautiful glitter there. Very pretty. Very nice. Okay, number 12. Scurry up the basement stairs. Oh, what could happen next? When suddenly a witch appears and casts a wicked hex. Well, did you do something to me first? Because then you deserve it. I mean, let's open this. Look at this beautiful purple. It's called Hex. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. It is called Hex. It is my favorite color. And my gamer tag and my online presence name for years has been Hex Collide. So, um, ah, oh my gosh, I wish I didn't have paint and stuff on me, but it's okay. I work for a living. It'll be all right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness absolutely beautiful and now we're on lucky number 13. how kind of you to join us i knew i smelled a rat then with a big black puff of smoke she morphs into a cat i think they're talking about me my cat's sitting here looking at me like are you for real <laughs> please have cats <gasps> it has cats it has cats oh my gosh why can't i get this off of here Oh, I'm just so excited for the cats. So my hands are shaking. Calm down, woman. It'll be all right. Look at the cats. Look at the cats. Oh, my goodness. How adorable. Look at this. Oh, there's a tarot card with a cat. Look at all these cats. Your casting circle, your book of shadows. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Y'all know I love the mountains and the moon. Look at these. Okay, this. Oh, look at that one. Look at that cat. Okay, I gotta do some nails soon. I swear I'm gonna have to push away some responsibilities and sit down and do my nails. That is beautiful. But anyway, let me get this out of the way and let's let's check out putting the plates in the little book. Okay, so I've got my little book. And you know what? I'm just so happy and honored and thrilled to be able to review this product for my friends over at Maniology. Um, you know, I am big on morals and business ethics, and um, it's a big reason why I support this company based out of Hawaii. And so they're just really sweet people over there. And I will always be proud to promote their products. So if you wanna buy from a good company with kind people, I highly suggest that you purchase from them, okay? Because you know that their company was crap, and if they were a bunch of meanies, I would tell y'all about it. Y'all know me. Is this on the front? Yeah. Y'all know that I would do that, but um, I love them. I really do. But anyway, there is your little book of plates, like so. Isn't that cool? And then your little carrying book here. I just love this. I'm thrilled with the colors. I've always been happy with the quality. Um, their packaging is absolutely beautiful. The ideas behind their packaging, the ideas behind their products, I've always been very happy with. Um, so yeah, if you would please, like I said, look down below and check out the links that I have for you for these products. And I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, if you would, please 
leave this video a thumbs up click subscribe check me out on other forms of social media the links to all of which will be in the description box down below and i hope to see y'all next time bye